professional dancer, but my whole life I really, really struggled with asthma. It has always affected me doing exercise, but today I'm going to change that. I am going to be challenging myself to run a 10K marathon with my dad. Hopefully I'll be able to complete it. First, I have to get fitted for a pair of running shoes because I literally don't own one pair of running shoes and I can't really run a marathon in heels, I don't think. Or maybe I can, I don't know. I was really confused as to why I had to stand on this machine to determine my shoe size, but you know, we're, we're going with it, it's all good. And I think we found the perfect pair. My dad told me how important it is to eat a bunch of things like carbs, protein before a marathon. So here I am being a good daughter eating my delicious pasta and he even gave me a thumbs up. So that's a good sign. So I am at the doctor right now. I'm about to go in and talk to him about my asthma and see what the best options would be. The doctor basically said to take a lot of deep breaths and don't push myself to do something that I know I can't do. And she also prescribed me an inhaler, so I will be taking that as well. Unfortunately for me now, it's officially training time. Time to hit the stairs. Go, Ellie, faster, faster. Push it, Ellie. You're there, no giving up. Come on. You guys, I don't think you understand how difficult this is for me. Oh my god. With my asthma, I don't know if I can do this and how steep it is. If this is just mild compared to what I have to do in the actual race, I don't know if I can do this. But you know, we gotta keep pushing. Nicely done. You're done with the warm up. Wait, wait, wait. No. No. no, 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 what, what, what? That was the warm-up? It's warm -up? time to work out. No, now we work out. That was just the warm-up? Sprint, girl. Sprint. No, no, you're telling me that that was the warm-up. That was the no, warm-up. No, I'm done. I'm quitting. Eliana, Catherine, get your butt back here now. We are not quitters in this family. I really don't think my asthma's gonna let me do this, but, you know, all we can really do is just try. Let's go. All right, Ellie, look, I get it. You're at altitude right now, okay? You came from sea level. Let's get you to another environment. Like, I, literally, I literally cannot breathe right now. <laughs> get, let's get you to a new environment and you will be able to pull this off, trust me, like, okay? Like where? I've got a perfect place for it, perfect place. It is the most conducive setting to get you running and to get you into gear to be a winner. No, Eliana. Yeah. Back at Red Rocks, you said you needed a change of scenery. Yeah. So I I'm bringing you honest. full circle back to your original home to your father's immaculate gym. And am I going to have to do more training here? We're going to do some training. We're going to start off with your hammies with some kettlebell swings. Oh, this is, this is oh my god. Wait, Good. This All is right. actually kind of difficult. Get those hammies. Okay, more explosion at the bottom. Explode. Explode. I don't know what that means. Perfect. No, no, I've got something better for you. So, so Eliana, what, what is I think you, you had mentioned potentially McDonald's. Well, what, what is uh, I have something so much better for you. What so is this? So I'm gonna make you a shake, two raw eggs, and we're gonna mix in some raw beef liver, some so powdered what? beef organ powder. It has heart, kidney, pancreas, and liver, all mixed into a powder. So as much as I really don't wanna drink uh, liver kefir smoothie thing, and this training was extremely difficult and my asthma is honestly really, really killing me right now. I know that I can't give up. I've worked too hard to get this far and I can't give up now. I have to keep going. I guess I'll have to drink the smoothie. And you know, all this training has to pay off or something. I'm exhausted, but really just no pain, no gain. I mean, my dad is right. I can't give up, so you know, I'm gonna be strong. I'm gonna go back in there. And I'm gonna drink that freaking smoothie, and I am going to do this race. Okay, this. Bon, bon appetit. Dude, I, I literally cannot drink this. You can. Do you wanna be a champion? Yes, but. Embrace it. Be a champion today. 
Nicely done. Good job, girl. Mm. Oh! <laughs> Why do you drink this? Eliana, you eat for performance. Okay, you know what? I think that's enough training. You eat for performance. I think that's enough training for the day. So, I'm just gonna go home for the night. I'm gonna try to get a good night's rest, and I'm just gonna hope for the best for the race tomorrow. You know, I don't feel bad, but at this point, there is nothing else I could do today, so I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It is officially race day. Race I day! Yes, I am. Well, that so for me. It's just like coffee day, and I'm gonna be cheering on the sidelines. Honestly, I'm so sleepy that I kind of wish it was just coffee day for me and chill on the sidelines. But you guys, you guys know that I've been training so incredibly hard for this. I literally cannot give up now. That would be such a disappointment. But you know, I got my coffee and stuff. You took I got your asthma inhaler, so I that's did. Good. I did take my inhaler today. I'm really hoping that I won't freak out on the race and have an asthma attack. That's just what I think I'm most nervous about. I'm just going to try to even put asthma out of my head and just try to have the most fun time. Look at my hair. Yeah, that's the most important part is just, like, think about the finish line. No matter what happens, you can do this, honestly. Here is my makeup today. I did a winged liner moment that I haven't done in a while. I think it turned out kind of cute. And here's kind of like the fit. I'll obviously show you guys better later, but we are just on our way to bring up my dad now. I got my dad with me now. He's he likes it in the back seat. He's like, <laughs> I'm gonna be back there, but I really hope that this training pays off or something. We worked hard, didn't we? We worked our our butts off. I'm we nervous did. for you though. Look at all these people. Oh my god, there are like so many people walking. Fifty five thousand. <gasps> Guys, this is literally insane. There's so many people and we don't even know where to go. So we're approaching 2k and dad and I are really worried because we don't remember there ever being like this many people So that kind of the sucks. crowds are prodigious Big word, but it's it kind of sucks a little bit, but I think we'll be okay So I had to take a little bit of a rest. I'm just like kneeling down behind some trees because my asthma was getting pretty bad and I think it's important throughout this to just kind of take breaks if I'm really starting to not feel okay So I'm doing fine on time. I'm just gonna take like five minute break to take a rest. I really hope that I'm able to do this because I think I'm starting to struggle a little bit and my inhaler obviously isn't with me. I took it before I got here so just I'll see you back like when I'm on the racetrack again. She taught at this school, so mom, if you're watching this, look, it's Columbine. So cool, I spent so much time at that school, that's crazy. We're at 4K. 4K. I think I honestly need to take a break soon. After doing those aerials, I feel like I'm not doing too hot. <laughs> nearing the finish line a little bit so I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to pull through once we get there do you have hope in me dad I have faith in Ellie I have faith in it. myself guys please leave a like below for me to finish this marathon it's very important to me I've worked very hard for this <laughs> Got 
got my snack bag. That is literally all that I did this race for, right? All that I did it for. I did a haul. That's a good one. I feel cramps in my stomach, my feet are sore. I don't even know if I can kick my leg. Oh, there's a crack and I can do it just barely. I am ready for some noodles. To come. I'm even lightheaded. I need water. And you need some um, spray and wash for your white shirt. I know guys, one leg equals one prayer for my white shirt that got ruined in the slip and slide that I was so bad at. Like it wasn't even worth it. It's so ridiculous. Hey, but, but the point is you overcame that fear. Yes. And I finished the race. I had a blast today, and I think I will definitely be doing another marathon soon. Just take deep breaths and don't let asthma win. You can do it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember, there is always hope. I love you guys so much.